Bonjour, we are back in Sunset Valley for what might be an episode video. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but I'm just filming an intro and we'll see. I'll film what, what I'm doing, but I'm not sure it's worth it. Uh, we'll see. So, the idea for today's video is to do, well, to continue the stadium. So, the bit, a bit of a backstory on that lot. Uh, that used to be the stadium there, um, the rabbit hole building. It was big. It's a 64 by 64 lot, if I remember well. I'll pin on the screen the video where I removed uh, the, the lot, well, the, the rabbit hole building that was there. And instead of placed bleachers I'd done before, so I'll also pin the video where I did the, the bleachers. And I did them on a way smaller lot, so it was a 30 by 10 lot. And then during that episode when I removed the, the stadium, I placed the bleachers there. Since then, I've gone back to it and changed the placement. I've put it facing this way instead of having it. So let's have a close look. So here they are. I initially put them there like that, so facing this way. And to, yeah, then I did some uh, some uh, tricky things to have <laughs> uh, more room here. I wanted the lot to have parking spaces there and I was thinking that it was a bit weird to have the bleachers. I thought that maybe they would look better that way and still have some room for the, the parking lot here and still kind of a pathway here to access this uh, let's say a trail, even though it's not marked. There is um, a gully here. It leads actually to another lot over there. And so didn't want to block the way. And I'm thinking I'll see how what I can do there. Today I just wanted to continue a bit on that lot. Not going to do much. I'm just going to do a, a parking lot in the front and the field. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do a specific field with, you know, with markings for what specific spots. Um, mostly because <laughs> I did try it in Creator World because it's not, it's a whole bi business, but in Creator World that lot doesn't exist. It's set dressing, let's say, but not totally. So explain it more in a Creator World video, but I tried to do a football field, like an American football field. And uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty ugly. <laughs> it was not recognizable at all. <laughs> so instead, what I did, and um, I do also here, is have a running track combined with a, a field in the middle, but I'm not sure I'm going to really decorate that field. So at least a running track uh, that can be used with a mod. I'm going to link the, the mod in the description box below. Um, so it's a mod with markers and the sims can go on a jog on it on a lot. So that's the plan for, for that video. Not sure it's going to be a very... might be a very short video. Mostly I'm already done with the... Uh, with downstairs there. So that's, that's the locker rooms and uh, a few machines here to exercise the uh, on. Uh, there are also pull-up bars. Where are they? Here. A bit, a bit hidden. <laughs> and yeah, so starting with that, and I'll just add a few things there. So mostly going to do some landscaping, I guess. Okay, let's get to it. So since the bleachers and the downstairs area were already done, um, the, what was left to do was uh, mostly landscaping. So I did the uh, big car park. Well, big. It's not that big, but it, it's sufficient. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I have um, uh, there are two areas there. So there is one for cars and the other one is for buses. Uh, because I think when you 
when the sims are in the sports carrier they at one moment there is a, a big bus a white bus i think uh, that comes and pick them up when they are carpooling or something i don't remember or maybe i'm getting confused with the sims too it's been a while since i've had the sims in the sports carrier so yeah uh, this lot also has the rabbit hole rug and can be used for with uh, ultimate career. So I'll link the the mod in the description box below the video, where you can have your Sims uh, play the the work day. Uh, that <laughs> you can have them use the different um, uh, machines and what their uh, items there to improve their skills in their career uh, too. So I've tried to include as many things from the career as I could, mostly downstairs, so under the bleachers, but also I've built a, a small building uh, where I've put first, first I wanted just the, the food stand there, uh, so that there, there would was a food vendor on, on site and then I also added bathrooms uh, well there are bathrooms already downstairs in the locker rooms uh, but here it was more aimed at the attendees you know pe the people the families were um, who would come over to, to watch a match and a game and two bathrooms there and then I converted one converted it one of the bathrooms because I, I made two at first and then I was wait we don't need two <laughs> and uh, I converted it uh, into um, uh, like a monitoring booth uh, so, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, I haven't playtested that. I will before I put the lot up uh, for download. I'm not sure if it's going to work the, the register on a half wall like that. So there is a counter uh, there, but I've, I've done that elsewhere, but I don't remember if I needed to, it to be a bit more forward or... So I, I'll test that before um, before having the uh, putting up the, the link there. So uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the the other part of the of the building it's going to be the not really a radio station. It's more a monitoring of the whole uh, Shibanda because I hesitated a bit, but a bit um, a bit later. I'm going to add big screens on on the uh, on the field, so uh, it's not very realistic. But I was thinking that I didn't have a scoreboard. Well, there is one from University Life, but it's way too too small uh, for to have it uh, as a, a field uh, scoreboard. So instead, uh, I put the big TVs, <laughs> a huge ones from Showtime, had them on, on poles, on, on, the, on the columns, and they are facing the bleachers. I'm not sure the, the teams can watch TV from that, so I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to sit down and watch TV. I haven't had time to really play test the, the lot. I have play tested the, the, the bleachers before, so I know that they are and are functional <laughs> but uh, yeah I don't know if they are going to watch uh, the TVs from there but I've put two big screens there and yeah it's uh, pretending they are uh, used as scoreboards picnic area over there and then uh, so here uh, adding the, the screens and then uh, the, the radio station area is uh, the, the booth too, so building it there uh, to control uh, all that, all that uh, um, electronics there. <laughs> so 
So a few more things I've added are items for families to because I was thinking that if they're going to watch a game maybe they're going to bring the whole family with them so I could have added Avant but it's something I've done in the in the on the festival grounds uh, where there are small beaches there. Um, I've added high chairs for the, the toddlers to be to be sitting <laughs> so we can pretend they're also watching the, the game. So I haven't done that here because I wasn't sure where to put them and it's it's also a very big lot so maybe they can do something else while uh, the, the parents and siblings are watching the game. Um, I've put a few toys for them here and there and also uh, a couple of items for dogs. Okay, so that's it. Off to the tour. So this is more of a let's build because I haven't even tried to recreate the original stadium. It was, it was a bit too big and it didn't seem to fit the whole town uh, to me. So that's why. So the build itself, it's a big field, a few corners and the building there, I've, I haven't put a level skip marker on the top floor of the bleachers. So we can go one flight of stairs uh, lower. And that's because that way we can see the, the two rooms on the side. So the dumpster area is there, the bathroom here and the monitoring room over there. And uh, no need to see in the middle because uh, there is a half wall so you can see the vendor from there. The um, locker rooms downstairs, so the two locker rooms, uh, hallway. And then there are machines for the Sims to exercise there and the sick bay over there. The park, car park in the front, uh, yeah, not much uh, to see, but yeah, that was a quick episode. I have a few other lots where I don't really have an episode on, on them because I'm just tackling them from time to time. I go there and it's just adding a few items, so uh, I'll talk about them a bit later. Uh, but that's it for that video. I'll see you in the next one. A bientôt!